Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you how to create a dimension, a radial dimension in a detail view, uh, of course in Inventor. Uh, when uh, you have, uh, for example, a, a cylinder with the axis and uh, in the detail view you would won't see the axis, so it will be not possible to to set a dimension from an edge to the axis itself. So I'm gonna show you an example so it will be more clear, hopefully. So let's start uh, with a part. Let's create a cylinder on the XY plane. Diameter 50 millimeters, right. And then uh, 200 here, okay. Then we need to save it. Okay, we can call cylinder, right? Save. Then we can create a drawing view. We can use uh, the standard uh, IDW template. Okay. Okay, let's uh, arrange better the view. Let's uh, set also a different scale, a little bit bigger. Okay. So when we create a detail view of this corner, uh, we will see, select the view, we draw a circle and we set the position of the detail view. As you can see here, there, the axis of the cylinder is not visible here. So if I want to put a radial dimension from this edge to the axis, it will be not possible. So the solution will be to right click on this view, select the automated center lines, activate this option, cylindrical features, and the center lines, so object in views, axis parallel, and OK. And you will see now the axis of the cylinder on this detail view. Right, so now it's very easy to set the dimension, to insert that dimension from this edge to the axis. If you want, you can write R equal. And then you can additionally customize this dimension as you want. So, uh, for example, you can, uh, uh, first of all, you can set as uh, invisible this line. So, right click and set visibility off. Then uh, you can right click on the dimension. You can edit the dimension style in order to have uh, the trailing zero, these two zeros off. So you go in units under the units tab, trailing zeros, switch off. And then you can set in the options, you can set height extension lines. This is the second line. So I will choose this one, save and close. and. The last step is to right click here and hide extension line. There you go. Finally, you can also hide this small arrow here if you want. So again, right click here, edit second arrow head. And from the drop down list, you can select known. And there you go. I hope uh, this is helpful for somebody of you and uh, thanks for watching, see you on the next video, bye.